Welcome back everyone. Thanks for watching again. We'll just finish painting our little dove. I'm going to load up the angle brush with the white. Take it off on the paper towel. So we're just going to dry brush it and just gently just tickle it. pick up a little bit more this time on the point and I won't take it off and I'll just a little bit of pressure pull a little bit of pressure pull just like that And the same here. Just take your time. Highlight here. Load up again on the flat here brush. We'll sit up on the chisel. And just bring in some, some of these fine little feathers. And then we'll come back here. It's a wee bit heavy, but it doesn't matter. We just want to relax doing this if we can. Yeah, you can play with that more. I meant to tell you the, the beak is the yellow, so I'm, I'm using the uh, the premium yellow, the Americana yellow. And I'm just put it on the tip of the brush and I'll just bring it in a little bit more. There you go. You can make it tidier than that if it's a little bit. I really need to get it on for you. Oh, I could use your anger. Or a fine liner. Let's use a fine liner. There you go. And we want some black. I forgot to put the black out. So I'll just pick up a little black. And let's put a little eye in there. There we are. Alright, let's go back to these roses. We'll finish the roses off. Or we might just finish the love off first. So I'll pick up the fine liner. Load up well with the white all over the brush and just bring that in. I've penciled it on first. You can write anything on this. Doesn't matter. I think the world needs a lot of love at the moment. And if I can give a little that makes me feel better. Yeah, I'll just go over a couple of times. Cause... There we are. You can write anything you like on that. Now we'll go back to our little flower with our angle brush wherever I put it in the water. Okay, now we'll work on our, um, our leaves. So I'm going to load up with the the green. I'll just pick up a little white on the point. Blend it a little. I'm just going to roughly put in, just chop them in. Turn it round. Just put them in loosely. Again, the green and the white, and just put some commas in. Get a 
quickly there. I'm sure you're going to do a better job than this. Just take your time. I'm rushing this a little. Yeah, just to give the impression the leaves. Then we'll pick up the green and the white again and just put in a few little commas. Just like so. And I'll pick up some white on the point of the brush. I haven't washed it because I'm only going to use the point of the brush and I'll just put in a couple of little marks in the stamens in the center. I've got some green there. Okay, and then I've just picked up, loaded the, the angle brush with a the mulberry and then picked up the white on the point and I'm just using the point and I'm just going to put in some little some little filler dots this finishes off okay now we'll do the ribbon the ribbon I've I will load up with a pink. I'm using the angle brush, flatten it off, and the white on the tip. Blend it a little, and I'm going to start up on the chisel like so. A little bit of pressure, twist it over, and up on the chisel again. I need to load the brush up again. Um, as the the fabric is taking it all in, so we go here, do that again, there, and then twist back again through his little mouth. Twist, twist, twist. Okay. There we are. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video you take your time and you play with it um, go over this a couple of times and the highlight your bird more if you like i can just do that now if you want um, just take that off and we can just just bring them out a little bit more there we are Enjoy painting, relax, enjoy, lose yourself in your painting. And um, I wish everybody good health, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.